Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Has God been good to you? You are going to thank God for making you see the first Sunday in the month of December. This is the last month of the year 2023. And life cannot be bought with money. You can't buy, you can't buy life, you cannot be bought with it. You can't buy life with it. Money. Nobody can go and say, I want to buy life. No market says life. God is the giver of life. And if somebody is giving to you, what do you say? Thank you. So consciously thank God for giving you life. To see the first Sunday in the year. Last Sunday. To see the first Sunday in the last month. In the year 2023. Go ahead and give thanks to God. Open your mouth and consciously tell him thank you for the gift of life. For making you and I to see the first Sunday in the last month of the year. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Go ahead and thank him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. For making us see the first Sunday in the last month. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you be all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. You will say, said, in this world, the end of a matter is better than the beginning thereof. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. And said, in Psalm 65, verse 11. It says, crown that year with a goodness, and apart drop what? Fatness. Lord, crown this my year with your goodness. Let my part drop fatness. And I will end this year well. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to God in the name of Jesus. Crown my year with your goodness and let my part drop fatness. I will end this year well in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to God. I will end this year well. I will end this year well. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. Lord, speak to us in this fourth service. Let each one have a word that will change our stories forever. Breathe life upon the word. In Jesus' mighty name, give him a big hand. You may be seated. The message for today is praise for fulfillment of prophecies. Praise for fulfillment of prophecies, part four. Praise for fulfillment of prophecies, part four. Praise is an expression of reverence to God in songs, clapping, and dancing for his awesomeness, majesty, and greatness. As I praise an expression of reverence to God in songs, clapping, dancing for his awesomeness, majesty, and greatness. Praise is God's all-purpose prescription for sweatless triumph. Once you praise God, it focuses on the efficacy of God's word. It does not focus on what is happening. Praise focuses on what is written, not what you are going through. In God will I praise his word. Psalm 56 verse 10. In the Lord will I praise his word. The word fulfillment is the accomplishment of an expected desire and delivery of something promised. As a fulfillment is the accomplishment of an expected desire and delivery of something promised. While prophecy means inspired utterance. Inspired what? So praise for fulfillment of prophecies is simply magnifying the greatness of God in words, songs, and dancing. Is that true? If you can like, you can put clapping, anyone. To commit God to bring to pass his word in your life. That's what we're saying. When we praise God, we celebrate the efficacy of scriptures, the infallibility of his counsel. We praise God to make this happen. Prophecies are enforced to be fulfilled through praise. Through what? 
He said, let the people praise the old God. Psalm 67, 5 to 7. Let all the people praise the earth shall you our increase. And God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us all the ends of the earth shall what? Fear him. The things God will do in your life, those who hear, who hear it, they will be afraid in the name of Jesus. That kind of fear is not phobia. Fear that when you are blessed, come to my elder brother, they say you are flabbergasted. They say, you say, I fear, I fear God. So God can bless this man. So God can bless this woman. That's the kind of, we're not talking about being afraid. We're talking about the kind of blessing, they say, wow. They know you are somebody who are living in one room. All of a sudden, you, they, they say, that still belongs to you. That's the kind of blessing. Is that true? That's a flabbergasted blessing. My little brother spoke that kind of English. He said, I'm flabbergasted. If you attend grammar school, you will speak flabbergasted English. Now, but God's word is a short word of prophecy. Second Peter 1 verse 19. When praise is done with scriptural backing, we commit God's integrity to perform whatever he has said. God means what he says, and whatever he says, he will do it. In Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 25, it says, For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall not, it shall no more, it shall be no more prolonged. Whatever God has said to you and I, I decree to not be prolonged anymore. Yeah. Isaiah 14, 27, For the Lord of hosts had purpose, and we shall disannul it. And his hand is stretched out. And we shall turn it back. So I hear. Isaiah 55 verse 11. The Bible declares. It says so shall my word be. That goeth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me what? Void. But shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing which I will unto I send. Whatever God has said. Will be fulfilled in our lives. <laughs> Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. They are fail not out of any good thing which the Lord has spoken unto the house of Israel, all came to pass. Lift right hand and say today, yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost, yes. all that God has spoken concerning my life will come to pass before this year ends. In the name of Jesus. Because God is not a man that he should lie. Verse 19, verse 19, God can lie. You can't praise God with understanding and not get outstanding results. If you want to see manifestation of God, just praise God with understanding. Let me say this to you. If you are praising God, you must have expectation. You must have what? Many praise God without expectation. Miracles don't go to where they are needed. Miracles go to where they are expected. If you're praising God without expectation, it's like playing football without goalpost. Even if you're Chelsea. Should I have what? Chelsea now, they play football without expecting to win. <laughs> because they've just been drawing and losing, drawing and losing. They won one, they will win one, they will lose two. Even if you're Chelsea, wouldn't you have expectation? <laughs> Is that not true? Do you know people play football without expecting to win? They say they play very well. They say, what is it because they lost? That's it. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. No, but I'm sure Chelsea will bounce back. No, so. How many of you like to say Chelsea will bounce back? Oh, you are men in this church, so I should be careful before I talk too much about Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea will bounce back. Don't you like that? The blues. I'm not a Chelsea fan. My team is Arsenal. <laughs> I like fine football. When Arsenal was not performing, I left them. <laughs> I don't have permanent team. My team now is Arsenal. The two teams I like before now, Arsenal and Barcelona because they play tic-tac football. When Barcelona began to misbehave, I left them. Uh, when I, I don't believe in following a team that will not be winning. Once you start losing, I leave you. Nobody follows a losing team. Is that true? Mm. Like Nigerian football, I don't watch it. <laughs> Ask me why. I don't want to be a participant. <laughs> Nigeria, when you want them to win, they will lose. How can Nigeria be playing with that small continent and then play draw? Uh, no, no. 
with all the fine players we have. So I don't want to be a participant. When you free playing, and I say, what is the score? <laughs> if Nigeria play football, you may die if you don't take that. <laughs> you see posts here, they will not kick ball you say, God. <laughs> and your heart will be making fear. <laughs> so that you follow that to play ball, you wouldn't know what you do like this. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I just play match, I say, oh boy, any time I finish it, I tell me this course. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, so don't praise without expectation. Don't praise without what? So, today praise, what do you expect? That's where I'm going. He said, surely there's an end. And thy expectation shall not be cut off. What to expect as we praise? What to expect as you are? Because this is the last service for today. Not the last service for the year. The last service for... What? Proverbs 23 verse 18. And Proverbs 24 verse 14. What are you expecting? I just, for, for, for time's sake, we take only four. Four things to expect. Four things to what? In this service. You can also put your own after the four things. If you expect more, put it. But for this service sake. Four things to expect. For, I don't mean they are the all, but just for this service because somebody may expect to eat Gary after now. <laughs> you want to know what Gary is? It's powdered cassava. When you use hot water to soak it, it turns to solid form. And then Liberians too Gary. If you meet any Liberian, they don't know how to swallow it, they chew it. But Nigerians they just take it straight. <laughs> it's as if you're taking stone inside your system. <laughs> Countries where they don't know how to swallow they chew it. If you meet a librarian and you give him gare, they will chew the gare. But Nigeria, no way. Nigeria, Nigeria, they take it, whack up. <laughs> and then, you see this thing will just come forward after a while. <laughs> so, what to expect as you work? Number one, speedy release of blessings. Speedy release of blessings. How many of you are expecting God to release your blessings speedily? Glory to God. In Matthew 21, 2, 3, 6, the Bible said, Go, Jesus told them, Go and get the lamb. Are you, they asked, sorry. Saying to them, Go into the village over against you, and see which I find an ass tied and a cord with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. You remember the story? Yeah? And if any man say off unto you, say, Ye shall say, The Lord had what? Need of them, and straightway he will send you. Verse 6. As I was went and did as Jesus what? commanded. And you know later they say Hosanna to the king of David. Uh, Hosanna in the... Yes. Every time you praise God, what happens? Your blessings are worth. Speedily. No delay. In Proverbs 3, 27, 28, he said, we told not good from them to whom it is worth. How many of you know that your blessings are due? When it is in the power of the hand to worth, do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, I will give when thou hast it by thee. God is saying he will not postpone your blessing to say, come and collect it tomorrow. When will you get yours? When will you get yours? When he asked for the ass, did they say, come later? No. When you praise him, he steps into your affairs. So whatever you're looking for will be released right now. There shall be supernatural delivery of all our blessings in the name of Jesus. It's a no good thing, Psalm 84 verse 11b. No good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly. And they that seek the Lord shall not lack what? Any good is Psalm 84 verse 11, Psalm 34 verse 10. This is going to be part, be part. Whatever you desire, whatever we desire as a commission will be released to us right now without delay. That amen is for you. Whatever we desire as a commission will be released to us in the name of Jesus. And whatever we desire as individuals will be released to us without delay. Are you believing your blessings will be released? So when you want to praise number one, what are you expecting? Speedy release of blessings. In Isaiah 14 verse 27, for the Lord of hosts had purpose, and we shall disannul it, and his hand has stretched out, and we shall turn it back. So here. Every obstacle will be removed right now. Yeah. Whatever can't stop God will not be able to stop you. Yeah. Number two, supernatural healing. Supernatural what? 
When they praised him in Matthew 21, he went into the temple, verse 12, and cast out everybody that was burning and sin. Over to the tables of money changers and seeds of them. And the Bible said, We are the temple of the living God. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. The other one is Matthew 21, verse 12. And God in our busy place of what? His people. So when we praise him as temple, it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he goes in and do what? Beat everything by and sell. Whatever disease in your body today will be flogged out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we have seen testimonies of all kinds in this church. Their praise. How many know that sickness will be flogged out right now? Yes. Say that disease will leave my body. Yes. Say it one more time. Yes. What is expect number three? The wonderful acts of God. That means size and wonder. Science and what? Matthew 21 verse 15. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and children crying in the temple and said, Hosanna the son of David, they were so displeased. But look at verse 14. The Bible declares, and the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. Miracles of all kinds will happen in the name of Jesus. God is fearful in praises, doing wonder. Exodus 15 verse 11. Prophetic praise triggers wonders. And when you enjoy wonders, you stop wondering. God does wonderful things on the platform of praise. It will trigger manifestation of miracle marriages, miracle babies, Amen. employment, Amen. appointments, Amen. admissions into schools, Amen. career promotions, Amen. business breakthroughs, Amen. documents will be signed, Amen. visas will be approved. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. name them. All of signs and wonders will happen right now. Amen. Finally, number four, vengeance on our enemies. Vengeance on your what? Vengeance on your enemies. Psalm 94 verse 1. O God to whom vengeance belong at what? Show thyself. Psalm 149 6 to 9. Let the high praise of God be what? In their mouth. And the two air sword in the hand. To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people. This commandment verse 9 now so it's good upon the judgment of this one has always says, praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hmm? In Luke 21 to the 2, we used in the third service. It said, Luke 21 to the 2. Who is in this studio for goodness sake? For this be the days of what? That all things which are written may be fulfilled. How many know today is the day of vengeance? Whatever God has written will be what? So here. Take God's word and do what? Praise him. I shared a testimony. I said when a serious gang up was against me some years back, all I did was to take Psalm 18 verse 40 and God finished all my enemies. That was scripture I used to praise. He said, Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. This was scripture I used to praise. And all my enemies were, were, were crumbled, brought them down. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. These are the four things we focus on. But before we praise, not every praise will God accept. Because you can be singing and be absent-minded. You can be singing and be grumbling. You can be singing and they will say, uh, the last year I sang. This year. Okay. So there are certain qualities that will determine if your praise will be accepted or not. So qualities of acceptable praise. What are the qualities? Because it's not enough to just sing. A, it must come from your heart. It must come from your Psalm 111 verse 1. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. With my what? In their service, Psalm 111, verse 1. Everything 111. 111, verse 1. So you have four ones there. The sum of the upright and the congregation. Is any merry, let him sink. James 5.13. B, 
It must be done with joy. It must be done with what? Don't praise God with anyone. Who let Psalm 149 verse 2, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the of Zion be joyful in their king. Joel chapter 1 verse 2. Psalm 149 verse 2, that's where I quoted. Then Joel 1 verse 12. 12 1 verse 12. So of you, when you're praising God, you're even complaining. God, they say we should praise, but I've not eaten this morning. Landlord has given me notice to quit. Okay. You are God, though. There's God. But this place, I don't understand. So you are laughing in church, but inside you are grumbling. Don't praise God like that. I hear him now. God is not a tax master, so you wicked God. Don't be do like this in the church, and inside you say, For what? How can I be praising you? And then they say, School fees have not paid. Is the praise school fees we paid? Finally, see, it must be demonstrated. It must be what? Clapping, shouting, instruments, and dancing. Psalm 149, verse 3. It says, Praise ye the Lord in a dance. In the what? Psalm 149, verse 3. Let them praise his name in the dance. It didn't say, Let them praise him in the look. Let them praise him what? What's what if you don't ever dance? Say, so Let them praise him, his name in what? Dancing is body movement. They didn't say let them praise him in observing everybody. So they don't dance so. When they pray, they do like this. They are the chief inspectors. The chief inspector general of every member. My friend, dance. What have I said in summary? When praise comes from a joyful heart with understanding of the efficacy of God's word, you enjoy number one release, speedy release of what? Blessings. So focus, studio, speedy release of what? Blessings. This I call, studio, look at it. Speedy release of what? Blessings. These are things they will expect. Number two, supernatural healings. Studio, take note of, because you people, speedy release of what? Blessings. These are the things to expect. Things to expect. Speedy release of what? Number two, supernatural healing. Number three, the wonderful acts of God. Number four, vengeance on your enemies. There are four things. Then number five, anything you like. Because maybe your own is not amongst the four. Any other thing? Any other? But some of you don't have, you may, you may desire something else. Is that true? Rise to your feet. Are you there? Some of you are, you are not there, you say, uh, yes. Spirit release of what? Then number two? Supernatural what? Number three? Science and number four? Vengeance. On your enemies. Are you ready? So we praise God having those 40 and number five, anything you like that is not it here. But there's no way they will not be there. If inside the list of blessings, there must be anything you're looking for is inside the list of spirit of love, list my blessings. Employment is in blessings, true? Fruitfulness is in breakthrough is in. So you ask to do it. Are you ready? For the church first, salvation mysteries, and then for your for yourself. Are we ready? We'll praise God for ten minutes. Is it too much? Please, try and sing well. Try and what? Uh, they are different between entertainment and uh, praise. I don't have to be in choir to know how to praise. You don't have to break your hand to know how to massage your hand. If somebody is not singing well, you will know. Wouldn't you know? Do you have to be a footballer to know who does not play well? No. So, so that's so that they praise, so that they do entertainment. Are you going to say that? All right, let's go. Time, please. All churches use your own instruments. God bless you. You are a miracle, working God. You are a miracle, working Father. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the
Amen. Hallelujah. Hold it. And now I allow you to praise. He said, let us offer to him a sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice is something that takes you extra mile. If you are not panting, he didn't make sacrifice. If you are really praise God, by now you'll be breathing somehow. If you are breathing, you are not breathing like that, then you didn't make sacrifice of praise. Lord, look at the four things on the screen. In addition to whatever you want for the church and for yourself, give voice to the word of God. Go ahead, in the name of Jesus. Declare it. Open your mouth and say, My blessings be released speedily. Heal every sick in our midst. Let signs and wonders erupt on end all that has to do with salvation ministries. Take vengeance on whatever wants to attack salvation ministries. Open your mouth, give voice to the word of God.
in Jesus mighty name all the four things we have said and whatever you've added all are confirmed Amen. concerning salvation ministries and concerning your own lives amen. if you believe it your email confirms it amen. in Jesus mighty name amen. how many know God has given us victory glory to God amen. but hear this the praise of a sinner is an abomination to God you must be born again. Say, let his own people praise him, O Lord. You are not amongst his people until you have accepted him as Lord and Savior. Wherever you are, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Offer these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I declare you my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone that offered that prayers, don't sit when others take their seats. Keep standing as a sign of respect to God. Keep standing as a sign of respect to God. We know you fear him. Please, everyone standing, attend to them. In all churches, and those of you online who give your lives, just follow the structure of the screen and get back, we'll get back to you.